So after a while, I've been wondering, does the Shatter Glass Megatron belong in your collection? Well, let's find out. Oh, and a bonus upgrade kit as well. So, Shatter Glass Megatron. Does this figure belong in your collection? Well, it's not kind of what I was hoping for, Shatter Glass. I mean, yeah, myself included, and probably everybody else, would probably have wanted the BotCon exclusive Shatter Glass that was basically a repaint, slightly retool of Transformers Energon Megatron. But honestly, this figure is really not that bad. And yeah, I do have the upgrade kit with the shoulder cannons, new tank, arm cannon, and sword. And it does really kind of help fill that void a little bit. But let's get onto the figure itself, and we'll just go ahead and take away all the upgrade kits on here. And actually look what you're actually getting. And yeah, get all the same pieces. The fusion cannon. Nothing really different. Just no retool, just a repaint and a little bit of bonus accessories. So yeah, this is what you actually get from the Shatter Glass line. And honestly, it's not that bad. Yes, I do have the backpack slightly different. Then what the actual transformation instructions and how the actual siege mode transformation is supposed to be. But I do kind of like this way more. Because I felt like the wings weren't far enough spread. So yeah, this kind of helps a little bit. And at first I did have them displayed like this before I got the add-on kit. I actually got the add-on kit before I got this figure. But I did play around with him first before I messed around with the add-on add -on kit. And honestly... I do like the Siege mode, and I was kind of hoping with this new Shatter, Shatter Glass Megatron, they would have fixed the whole neck issue like they did with the Earthrise, but they didn't. It's alright. At least my copy on this Megatron is a lot more stiffer, so I'm not going to have to worry about having him displayed with a open wound neck or anything, but yeah. I would honestly was hoping for a different head sculpt, but it's not bad. At least this is pretty well painted, just nice. I know there's probably some out there that it's probably not painted. I do believe it's all, like the front part is painted, but the back part is just cast in black plastic because it does have a different shine to it. But all in all, it's not a bad figure. And with this particular uh, siege mode, we technically have a triple changer shatter glass megatron because yes you could still do the tank mode and with the whole accessories with the shield cockpit and wings you get the whole shuttle jet mode it's all right and everything but hopefully in the transformer community there might be some ex more accessories that might help fill in the gaps a little bit but the accessories I have right now does kind of fill the void in his bot form and a little bit of the shuttle tank mode, not really as much. So the articulation on this guy is the same as the Siege. I mean, it's the exact same. They didn't retool. They didn't do anything different. I mean, only the transformation for the shuttle mode to bot mode to tank mode is different. It's just basically half the tank mode and keep the legs in robot mode, but it's all right. Now, I do love the color scheme and the paint scheme on this figure. It looks really nice and clean. I don't have any issues, no excess paint or not enough paint on this copy of mine, and yeah, I do like it. So, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed.
So first off, we are going to, it's tank mode because it is the siege mode and everything. And the color scheme on this is really not bad. I mean, I actually do love the color scheme on this one. I actually thought my G2 Combat Hero Megatron's paint scheme was pretty nice. But I honestly like this a little bit more. And it's not bad. Now the accessories that it does come with the figure itself. I mean, technically he's got ports on the side. So you could put some of the accessories on it but honestly i haven't found a really good spot for the cockpit shield in this mode at all i mean i mean it, it can do like that and also the accessories as well basically the same issues i do have you know trying to fit all the pieces on here they're just not really going as much and stuff so i mean if you could create something a little bit better Maybe, but for now, I can't really think of any other way to attach the accessories in his tank mode. So now that we've seen his tank mode, because it's basically the same thing as Siege, let's go and get this guy in his jet mode. in his so-called jet mode it's not that bad and you can still attach the front barrel of the basically the tank barrel on it to give it a little bit more for uh, blasting style and everything it's all right but i am kind of worried about doing a little bit of scuffing the paint on the cockpit shield and that so i just kind of leave that to the side and stuff so yeah, this this whole jet, shuttle, whatever you want to call it, it's really not bad, but I mean, that's a lot to the imagination and everything. I mean, you also, you have the front part of the tank in the back, the turrets basically just spin around, and the legs are just still in robot mode and just take the cockpit on front, but it's not bad, honestly. But I still think there could have been some improvements on it. So, yeah. Now let's look at what the upgrades. go we got his upgrade does integrate it very well in the jet shuttle mode and everything as you can see the shoulder cannons does peg into part of the tank treads here ports that were his shoulders in robot mode and the small little tank does peg in nicely under the fusion cannon there and i can actually get the sword nicely tucked in away under it and it holds it pretty nice well it does kind of Fill in some of the gaps on top that you do kind of see from the bottom. But honestly, it's not that bad. And with the whole little tank, you can actually articulate the barrel on it. It's, I actually like it. It does improve a lot more than, honestly, with this piece right here. Just due to, I'm afraid the barrel of this weapon will scuff up the paint right here because it just really sits on there too too close for my taste so yeah it's not a bad figure i mean honestly trying to get 
a tank into a jet shuttle mode that this is supposed to be with a little accessories on it it's not bad could have been better but you know it's hasbro what are you gonna do hopefully maybe in transformer community they'll get more upgrade kits for this guy to get more of that botcon exclusive shatter glass megatron feel to it even though this upgrade does kind of fill that void a little bit but I always like to see what the community does for the Transformers to see if they improve it even more. Now, in my opinion, really, about the upgrade kit, I do think that the tank could be just slightly a little bit bigger. Maybe actually make it where you can actually take his sword front tank barrel here, unscrew it, and make a design where you can screw it in... Kind of like a tank and replace that. That might actually look pretty decent. And stuff. But. Who knows. All in all. I do love the upgrade kit. And I do like this figure. It's a different from Shatter Glass. It's, it's a different Megatron's. Because it's a Shatter Glass line. And it's basically the what if of Transformers now. Since what if is basically popular. I do like it. Always like the whole Shatter Glass theme. And Yeah. Debating if I actually want to put this guy in my collection of Megatron shelf up here, or if I actually want to do a Shatter Glass, because I do have majority of what's out right now. Can't wait for Starscream and Jetfire. Oh, those look so cool. But honestly, does this figure belong in everybody's collection? Not really. If you're a big Shatter Glass fan, then I do recommend this one. Or if you really want the BotCon exclusive. Shatterglass Megatron, but you don't really have the money for that figure. This really does kind of help fill that void. And if you're a big Megatron fan, yeah, get this figure. It's the Siege mode is still a great mode. I still like it. Transformation is very e easy, and there's mm, it's not really that complicated. But I do like the engineering on it. Now, do you need the upgrade kit for this? Not really, but. To get more of that BotCon Shatterglass Megatron vibe, I do recommend getting the upgrade kit for this one. And there's other variants out there of shoulder cannons with light-up features. I actually went with this one because I like all the accessories. The tank, the sword, and the cannons I thought fit very well. While the other one does light up, may get it, but right now I'm just, just happy with this upgrade kit. So, yeah. This has been John Miss Prime, and remember, Mayor Collection, maximize your spark, but never terrorize your wallet. See you next time.